Roxanne Road, a mysterious place located between the border of Saint Bernard de la Colle and Immingford, where immigrants go every day to be arrested for entering the country illegally. Why do they choose this route instead of a legal entry point? An agreement has been made between the government of Canada and the United States to cooperate in the verification of refugee statue requests made by incoming migrants. But this agreement only apply to port of entry that are located at a legal land border. So this has led to a massive increase in irregular entries into Canada especially since 2017, when Justin Trudeau told the world that everyone was welcome if they were feeling unsafe under the Trump administration. That is when the media really started to pay attention. At that time, what is now a daily police operation, the facilities At the end of Roxanne Road consisted of only a few tents and metal gates. The astronomical increase in migrant crossing at this illegal entry point prompted the government to build better facilities, including a police station, which was originally intended to be temporary. This port of entry is in Quebec, where citizens have been subjected to the strictest help measures since the pandemic began. Currently, Quebec remains the only place in North America that still requires people to wear masks in public place. Yet, thousands of people cross Roxanne Road with no negative PCR tests required. The Department of Health recently reported that over 60% of these irregular migrants are not vaccinated. So there you have it, folks. If you are a law-abiding, tax-paying citizen who is unvaccinated, well, <laughs> you can't get on a plane or a train or a boat. But if we're talking unvaccinated illegal aliens, not only will law enforcement allow them to unlawfully cross the border, but the cops will also even carry their suitcases and bags, bellhop style, for these so-called irregular visitors. Oh, and let's not forget, there's also free room and board for these I illegal aliens as well, courtesy of you, the taxpayer. Welcome to Justin Trudeau's Canada, which penalizes the makers and rewards the takers. And joining me now to weigh in on this ongoing egregious situation at the Quebec-New York state border is Alexa Lavoie. Bonjour, Alexa. Bonjour. <laughs> you know, I think uh, that was a wonderful piece. I, I, I think you knocked it out of the park uh, yet again, Alexa. But, you know, even if you believed in this kind of asylum, right, you would think that in this day and age of COVID, you know, where all the policies and regulations and laws that have been drafted in the past two years, it was all about public safety. That's why we're taking your rights away from you. So why is it that unvaccinated illegal aliens can enter Canada easy peasy, uh, but we're not allowed to hop on a plane. Um, I can't get on a train to visit you in Quebec City. Why the hypocrisy here, Alexa? But of course, like, uh, we know that we are facing, like, a double standard again, <laughs> once again, um, for uh, the seeking asylum uh you know that that increased the immigration so more vote for uh, the liberal party so probably so uh, the main reason why but especially when we look at the the legal immigration when we see that it takes about three years to see maybe the application to be um accepted Um, I'm not really surprised that most of people are using the uh, illegal immigration that take like, what, a couple of minutes and afterwards you're in into Canada without having to fill any form. 
You know, I think you're right. Going back to your original point, Alexa, I think this is all about changing the de- de- the demographics of Canada, much like uh, in the United States with the Biden administration, where the southern border is a sieve, thousands and thousands of illegal migrants coming in and then even being placed on planes typically to go to red states uh, in order to hopefully in the future change them in the blue states. I think that's exactly what's going on with the Justin Trudeau liberals, kind of an unspoken gentleman's agreement. We let you into the country, no questions asked. And what we want in return is every four years or so, make sure you check Team Red and vote liberal. What do you think, um, Alexa? Is that what is occurring here? But I, I think it's actually what is going on now because most of the Canadians are leaving uh, Canada anymore because they cannot like support what is going on and like the authoritarian like government that we have right now. So most of the Canadians are leaving the Canada for being replaced by r- immigrants who will actually respect the um, the law and um, Everything that what the prime minister, Justin Trudeau, will tell them to do, vote for me, got vax, and as well um, comply to identity, uh, digital identity, and everything will be fine for you. And, you know, Alexa, I want to make it clear. I'm not against immigration. Um, Given our pathetic birth rate in Canada, we're getting older. We're not replacing the population uh, through uh, natural birth. So we really do need immigrants to come in. Otherwise, we're in a real uh, demographic bomb in the decades ahead. However, there is a proper way to come into Canada. And I think by these people jumping the queue, and I don't even think most of them are genuine refugees, um, uh, Alexa, I think it's a slap in the face to those people all around the world that are abiding by the rules, immigrating to Canada. It takes years. It takes money. And uh, this liberal government is saying, well, hey, sucker, look what you could have done. You just needed to go to Roxham Road and you're in. Hey, folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.